What's going on this morning, everybody? So today we are going to be talking about helium and what exactly is going on with HNT. So it's no secret now that helium has been still continuously trying to migrate from um, its blockchain, its native blockchain, over to Solana following the um, T-Mobile partnership, as you can see here. And um, um, as said by the um, founder of Helium, um, they still have plans on doing so. And um, they're still looking forward to uh, working with Solana, which has a lot of uh, controversy because there's a lot of the community that would rather not see Helium on Solana um, due to uh, recent and past things like with Solana going down in the past, even before the whole FTX um, debacle. And uh, now that we have the whole FTX thing with uh, SBF and like all the uh, news and things going around with that, everyone's a little bit nervous for um, Helium to continue on with this um, endeavor with uh, Solana. And um, they're right to do so, in my personal opinion. Um, as, as I've always said before, before we even get started in this video, nothing I say is financial advice or should be taken 100% completely serious. Um, so just keep that in mind, guys. This is just my personal opinion on things. But um, honestly, guys, I honestly agree with uh, the vast majority that I honestly don't think moving to Solana was a uh, great decision. There was uh, tons of other places they probably could have went, uh, tons of other routes, and they uh, chose to go with Solana, and they're choosing to stick with Solana. But um, we're just going to have to sit back and um, ride it out and see what happens. Hopefully um, things pan out, but... Um, it's not looking good in my own personal opinion. So as we can all see here, Solana has been on an epic downtrend, um, down about 95% from all time high all the way up here, almost hit $300. And now we're heading down to about 10 bucks. And um, in my personal opinion, it doesn't look like it's going to get any better anytime soon for Solana. Um, Solana's definitely got a lot of work cut out ahead of it if it wants to uh, redeem its name even just somewhat within the crypto community. And uh, with tons of other players out there that don't have the um, stigma going around them right now and work just as fine, if not better, than Solana, it's just going to make it that much harder, in my personal opinion, for Solana to actually make that type of comeback, which is a uh, another reason that I honestly don't believe this move for helium to solana as a blockchain was um not the greatest move to begin with and it's still not the greatest move to continue on with but um as i said before we're just gonna have to sit back and see and we're just gonna have to trust the founders of uh helium on this move and hopefully it's the right move but who knows i i, I really I, that's that's where we're at right now it's like who knows so let's go ahead and continue on with this video here so we have the vote right here with Helium. As you guys can see, this happened on September 22nd, which I was a little bit skeptical of myself because if you check the comments and you look all across the crypto community, it looked like a lot of people were against this. But hey, can't go against it. Uh, that's what showed up on the, <laughs> on the vote. So um, as you guys can see here, for HIP70, the move to Solana, 81.41% actually voted for the move which was uh, 6,177 votes. And then we also had the vote against it, which was only 18.59%, which I was really, really surprised about considering. Um, but um, that would be 1,270. But we also have to take into account when we're looking at this, this was before the whole FTX situation. And um, I mean, still people had their own opinions on Solana, but it wasn't as heavy as it is now even though Solana was going down countless amounts of times and it just wasn't like it wasn't secure as you guys can see here we'll scroll down here in the comments really quick and just check out some of the comments here you guys can kind of already see like the general sentiment around the uh, move to Solana as a chain everyone's recommending different chains they could have moved to anything but Solana helium users moved to Solana no service at whatsoever yeah, it's going to be fun. Like, uh, it's just crazy. Uh, it's just a crazy move. And it's just weird that um, LOL Solana is like, it's just weird that the vote ended up that way. But we do know how the voting system works. So there is that as well to take into account here. So um, there's that with the vote.
One thing that I would like to po um, point out about Helium is that they've uh, continued to uh, create content. They've continued to post. They didn't just uh, disappear for a minute and um, went silent. And they um, actually mentioned multiple times that they had limited to no exposure to FTX and uh, SBF in general, which is, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you're moving over to the blockchain over there, but uh, who knows? Uh, as you guys can see here, they um, posted this actually. Today's the uh, 23rd of November. This is posted on the 22nd, which was their last post. Uh, time for some Helium Education 101. What's the difference between the Helium IoT network and the Helium 5G network? So they're still continuing to try to um, educate the community by posting um, threads on um, pretty much what they're working on and just trying to uh, increase the in, the knowledge of those who are, are within the community of Helium and in the um, community of uh, crypto in general. So um, that's pretty good. And I definitely have to give it to them on that because uh, they still haven't given up and uh, they're riding out with the decision. So we're going to have to ride out with them as well on that decision and um, see where it goes. Uh, currently, the helium price is sitting right here and uh, not down as heavily as uh, Solana. Well, kind of pretty much there, too. But um, as you guys can see here, we have a price of uh, two dollars and 46 cents and helium is currently up three percent three and a half percent so um right now we're sitting at that two dollars and fifty cent range just about and i um, not too sure exactly if we're going to go down further or not uh looking at bitcoin it's looking like bitcoin could go either way right now honestly um, it's looking like Bitcoin could this could possibly be the bottom. In my personal opinion, I would think that we'd have a little bit more down to go. But we're just going to have to see what um, how things pan out. As I've said in my last video, there's tons of factors that are kind of uh, lingering over the crypto space and like just general like macroeconomic world global environment in general. So we have a, a lot of things to look forward to as far as that, if you really want to call that looking forward to it. But um, we've got a lot of things hovering over overhead so it's not just all about crypto right now at this point so um if things work out then we could see things uh bounce back here with helium and potentially uh with solana as well and i'm hoping for the best it's, i'm not making this video to uh be negative about helium or anything so definitely don't take it that way i'm actually rooting for helium i hope they do great i hope they achieve what they've um set out to do but uh, right now, it's like, in my personal opinion, it's like not looking completely like the people's network, just like the way that it started out anymore. It's uh, changing. But that is uh, business. That is innovation. That is technology. That is uh, crypto. Like things just change. Like you can't expect things to be the same and um, expect things to move forward. You know what I mean? So there is that aspect of things as well. And as you guys can see here, there's definitely no shortage of uh, Sam Bakeman free ftx type news in the um crypto space right now as i said before it's the uh, 23rd of november and it's 7 a.m this was posted at 3 a.m which is just a few hours ago on um business insider on twitter on sam bankman freed reportedly owning a 100 million dollar stake in um elon musk twitter as you can see elon has uh came here to uh debunk this statement and say false so um there's that it's also awesome just to kind of see him actually uh, actively engage in all of these uh, different things and um, allegations as a lot of people usually try to stay quiet or they just don't see it because they're so busy. But um, he's obviously got time for it, which I believe a lot of us have time for it. We just choose not to um, pay attention to certain things. But um, let's continue on here. We can also see here with um, Amir actually stating out that like a lot of people have been asking him about solana and whether like the proposal move to solana network as part of the uh, hip 70 was the right move and as you can see here he said this on november 9th he says simple reply absolutely the right move then and it's still the right move now so like as i said before we're just gonna have to sit back and see guys because it's just uh crazy to think about because there's a lot of um just different things going on with helium uh the miners have pretty much um has seen like their um uh, mining rewards just like cut more than cut in half it's just more than cut in half at this point and uh things are just getting crazy as far as that goes uh we have uh a lot of uh miners that showed that like miners have been bought and set up 
but um, how many of those miners are actually running is the question which we'll actually go over here in a minute and um, as you guys can see if you guys aren't following helium definitely go ahead and do so here at helium's uh, page at helium if you guys aren't following me definitely go ahead and follow me as well on twitter at Raji De Niro. so um i could post a lot of things a lot faster on there we can um talk on there a lot quicker than i can respond to like comments and make videos on here and uh next up we also have uh we're going to talk about helium right here because this is the actual site for the hotspot networks and stuff like that as you can see right here we have 9,000, I mean, 975,384 hotspots right here as of today. But exactly um, how many of those hotspots are actually online? So, um, with that, let's go ahead and take a look here. So, as you guys can see, a little bit of half of these hotspots are online. It says 55.47%. So, at 975,000, that would be roughly about 440,000 hotspots online, give or take. So, um, correct me if I'm wrong in my math there. It's not going to be exact math, obviously, because I just did that off top of my head. But um, that would definitely be around 440,000, considering a million would be half of, of half the million would be um 500,000 so um we are looking at that as well to take into uh, consideration there's been an add on of uh 8,449 um hotspots added within the um 31 days past 31 days and um there's been a decent amount of hotspot data still somewhat trending upwards so um there's also that to keep in mind there's also been a lot of um, cities added as well. So the Helium network is still moving forward. It's just not moving forward at the pace that it was during the bull market, which is pretty much expected if you're one of the types of people who um, expect um, things to kind of slow down during the bear, which they obviously are. And um, it is what it is as far as that goes. But um, it's uh, definitely not looking very lucrative to many people especially whenever they're waiting months on end on uh, wait times with different uh, vendors when they're trying to get their um, hot spots and they're trying to get their miners through um, helium um, third parties so uh, there is that as well and there's not much accountability on those parties as well th uh, through helium um, we haven't really seen them come out too much and uh, address the issue on that either so there is that as well so, um, it's just a uh, a lot of things to take into consideration when you're looking at helium it's just like if you um if you if you like the team and uh, you have confidence in them and you have a uh, confidence in the project and the community as well it's the type of thing where you're you're really gonna have to ride or die right now because uh it's like get with it or get lost in this bear market it's like if you're gonna stand behind it you're gonna hold your tokens you're gonna hold h and t then that's what you're gonna do if not then you might as well just get out if you haven't already and I am saying that in general, that's not financial advice or anything like that. I'm just using that as a uh, general statement. But I just thought this was interesting here as I was uh, searching around. As you guys can see, this was a, a post by FTX. As you can see, they were replying to FTX. And uh, FTX has since then deleted this tweet, which is uh, very interesting. As you can see, uh, T-Mobile, which is a partner of Helium, actually uh, responded to uh, this post saying this was uh, pretty, pretty, pretty good. And... Um, the tweet is deleted by the author, which was uh, FTX. But as you can see here, they didn't delete this one, which is uh, them responding. So I would actually like to know exactly when they deleted this tweet because um, I know there's a lot of um, word around there that uh, T-Mobile and um, others that were involved with uh, FTX somewhat or in some sort of way have little to no exposure. But it's kind of hard to, to believe that whenever... Um, We've just been lied to so many times and there's just been um, blatant, like there's been conversations between FTX and um, T-Mobile here directly. Well, it's not really a conversation, but you know what I mean? It's just been um, engagement. So it's like, how could you not potentially have at least a little something in the pot as far as uh, FTX goes? But who knows? Um, it's obviously not a lot because uh, T-Mobile is not going down right now. I mean, they would have. Like it, it would have been obvious if it was a, a substantial amount by now. But um, it's uh, definitely something interesting to look at and look into. Cause, um, 
I just thought I just thought I wanted to share that. But anyways, guys, that's uh, helium right here. And um, let me know what you guys think, because I'm uh, really interested in seeing what other people think on this one, because this one is a very controversial um, subject with um, crypto and uh, just helium in general. So um, just definitely let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. As you guys can see, this was the um, initial uh, partnership announcement back on uh, September 20th with um, T-Mobile and Helium. Say hello to Helium Mobile, the world's first crypto carrier, bringing the power of the People's Network right to your phone in partnership with T-Mobile. And I know a lot of people actually don't like T-Mobile. I use T-Mobile actually, and I haven't had any issues really with T-Mobile. They've actually been great. Every time I've got a problem, um, they actually just recently helped me out with a problem. It's kind of funny. <laughs> the problem I'm about to explain is um, a problem where I had uh, had to get my phone uh, reset with a backup in the iCloud, and then they had to fix my um, network. I guess a problem went out with the uh, network. So it is a little uh, bad on the uh, Helium side. They had a uh, network problem. And uh, that's why my phone was going straight to voicemail and I wasn't able to answer calls. Like I would get the call, it would ring twice and then the um, call would go straight to voicemail and the caller wouldn't be able to call me. And if I didn't swipe on the um, call, if I didn't slide for the to answer the call in time, after those two calls, it would just click the call off and I would have to call the person back so I could call them, but they couldn't call me. So uh, that was a, a weird problem there. But um, pretty much when I backed up my cloud, I had... Um, some uh, information on my phone and um, I had a few wallets on my phone that I was logged in on that I thought I had the uh, private keys to because I usually keep my private keys around uh, check the area that I keep my private keys in and uh, the uh, private keys were not written down anywhere on any paper in that spot so uh, there was that so I did lose a few accounts there <laughs> And uh, it, it, it sucked, but it is what it is. We'll move forward. Uh, we've had worse happen. But um, anyways, guys, that's all I've got for today's video on Helium. Definitely leave your opinions on the comment section below because I want to see what other guys, other people think, other guys and gals think about this because uh, this is uh, very interesting just to kind of see where everybody else is coming at with um, Helium coming out with the uh, 5G as well on top of the um, other hotspots and then coming out with the mobile token and stuff like that. So a, there's a lot to talk about when it comes to uh, Helium. So uh, definitely go ahead and um, make your voice um, heard and make things known and um, kind of open up others' eyes like myself to um, other perspectives that um, may have not been thought about. So uh, definitely go ahead and do that. If you like my content, definitely go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.